Welcome everyone to today's daily tune-in. This is the tune-in for Tuesday, November 2nd. And today I'm on the main little thoroughfare here in Mukachev, Ukraine. And this is one of our favorite times to, uh, to walk our dog. There's so many sweet little cafes and things around this area that um, it's just fun to sit and watch people and, uh, and just take in some of this European lifestyle, which I love so much. But that kind of sparks some of today's topic, which is on the, the transformation that is absolutely in progress and on our planet. And if you take a look at the magnetosphere today, you will see that there's a ton of pressure all around the planet. The Schumann resonance is down, so that uh, is probably affected by the, the satellite lines because of this, this, uh, the, the energies around our planet at the moment. And when they get really intense, it usually will take down the Schumann. The magnetosphere still is up and is showing how much of these, these energies are around. And this pressure is part of the process of the transformation that's happening to our planet, which means it also happens to all of her inhabitants, which includes you and me. So we are being transformed by these increased solar and galactic energies that are surrounding us. And I talk a lot about this process. It hasn't, it's not talked about very often in, you know, definitely not the main street medium because this is what is helping to transform even our systems and our global, our global governments. Everything now is kind of feeling the pressure, so to speak. And all of it is having to be transformed. This then turns to the topic of today's daily tune in, which is the two different levels of, of transformation, the two forms of transformation that we as humans will experience in our lifetimes. The first one is unconscious transformation. So if there's a part of your life that is denser or not as expressed as you want it to be, maybe it's imbalanced, maybe it's dysfunctional, maybe it's just unhealthy in some form or some way, if you consistently ignore that and you pretend like it doesn't exist or you just assume that it's going to go away, eventually nature will take its course and transformation will be triggered from some kind of catalyst that will force you into the transformational process. I'm actually doing a workshop for the Academy of Divine Knowledge on the seven stages of transformation. And the first stage is calcination. And that's when everything falls, burns to ashes. That's, that, that's the, the, the first step in alchemy, but it's also the first step in transformation. When a catalyst kind of burns that part of your life or your entire life and just takes it down to the ashes. I have been through that kind of transformation. 13 years ago, I walked in on my first husband with another woman <laughs> in my house, and that was a catalyst that started a whole transformation of my entire life. I share that vulnerably simply because at the time, I knew things weren't quite right, but I gave it all the reasons why my marriage was was it was okay to ignore some of the, the the dissonance that I felt. We had two new babies, I had a job, I was the breadwinner of the family and everything. It seemed logical that the marriage would be a little bit shaky or a little bit ungrounded simply because we had so much more going on. But I ignored the actual problem at hand and eventually nature took its course and an, uh, I didn't choose the transformation, but I had no choice because once nature takes its course, then we are at the mercy of it. That unconscious transformation is even more painful than any kind of transformation that you can choose simply because it comes out of nowhere, it shocks you into reality, and yet that transformational process took me on a journey that evolved me into a person that found my true calling doing the work that I'm doing now. I never would have found this work had that unconscious transformation not been catalyzed or triggered. I became someone that I didn't know existed 
And what I will tell you is that person was definitely worth me knowing. And then we have the second form of transformation, which is the kind that you choose when you are aware of your life and you are, you understand the transformational process and you start to say, you know what, something doesn't feel right in my life, whether it's a relationship, a job, your financial status, uh, your health, your well-being, whatever it is, you just come to recognize and you say, you know what, I need change. And we are so conditioned in our, in our existence that, that change is, is not a good thing or it's a scary thing and we avoid it. And yet when we avoid things, as we just said, eventually when, ch when change is absolutely needed, it will be triggered. So when you understand that change is needed, you can consciously be that trigger and choose it. And when you go through the steps and the processes of the transformational process, you will then be able to navigate it in your own way. And you will still have to feel some of the pain. You will still have to navigate the change. You will still have to intentionalize what the outcome is. But at the end of the day, you become someone that you weren't when you originally decided that you had to, to make the change. You become someone worth knowing. So no matter how transformation comes, you always end up in a higher frequency and a higher state of awareness of who you are at the beginning of it. That is the whole point of transformation. So when we continually choose it, we are continually evolving into a higher and higher version of ourself. That is happening naturally as we speak. Our planet is evolving into a higher expressed version of herself because these energies are forcing her to shake loose all that no longer serves her. The pressure is on. We see more flooding than ever before. We see volcanoes happening. So there is a, a shift that is happening energetically. It's also happening in our human existence. So if you choose to take a look at all of the areas that are no longer serving you in your life, then you can now choose to transform them and you can choose to actually make a difference in your own life and become someone that you aren't now. And that person, I promise you, when you choose to meet her or him, is someone worth knowing. It's someone who brings extra value, extra energy, extra vibration, extra knowledge, extra wisdom, all of it to our planet and to yourself and to your friends and your family. So either you choose transformation or you try to ignore it and it'll choose you. And either way, either way, it always ends up in a higher existence of you. So embrace the pressure that you're feeling. It is showing you exactly where you are being called to transform. Embrace the changes that are happening in our world. Embrace the changes and the transformational things that you're seeing that really bother you, that make you angry, that make you, give you an urge to help and change something because that's what's being called forth. The more these energies come in, the more they point out what is too dense in this reality at this point in this world to hang on to these higher frequencies. So there's a lot being shaken loose. Are you going to embrace that or are you going to resist it? Because either way, there's a transformation in progress and you are part of it. Thank you for being part of this daily tune-in. I am so grateful to be doing these. I'm grateful to be bringing you into my life, into my current transformation. A year ago, I chose to let go. My husband, my second husband and I, chose to let go of everything we owned in the United States and, and a pretty healthy life that we had so that we could transform into a higher version of ourselves. We are still in the, pro the process. There are days where it's still kind of painful, but when I get out and I experience the, the vision that we had and I ex experience the energy of my surroundings, it reminds me why transformation is so needed. I'm a completely different person now than I was a year ago when we chose this and we're not even done. 
I like who I'm becoming and I'm so grateful for choosing transformation for myself. I hope you do it for yourself. It's so worth it. And if you need support, this is my thing. You can, I help people through their own personal transformations, taking them through the process of alchemic transformation, step by step by step. So you have someone that has been through the process, who has studied it, who it's part of my, my professional studies, and I know how to help you through this transitionary time. I'm here for you. And I love doing these and bringing this information to you. So thank you for letting me be a part of your life. I'll see you on the next Daily Tune-In. Bye. If today's Daily Tune-In brought you value and insight, please consider giving in return for that value by leaving a love offering. All donations go to keeping this platform operating and in service to humanity during these transformational times. To go even deeper into your soul frequency, please consider these offerings. For personal insights into your most pressing questions and concerns, get an energetic insight reading delivered directly to your inbox. To take a quantum leap in your transformation, book a personal session with Bidette. There are several options available based on how deeply you would like to go into your most desired soul-led life. To find more information and to book your sessions, please visit bedettemayor.com.